Well, we're muted. Hi, Dean. Hello. How, How are, are you? Yeah, you okay? I'm good. How are you? Good. good I think we're on. I'm, I'm panicking today. I've forgot my computer charger. I've had to borrow somebody else's computer, but I think we're live. No, we're all live. Hopefully we're on uh, time again and not 30 seconds ahead. <laughs> or or behind. I, saw, I saw a clip the other day of a man who watches it on, delay oh. on his computer. So then he doesn't have to watch back the yeah, replays. Then, in more and then detail. his missus was saying, "Well, why do you watch that?" So he said, "So I can watch the, the replays and see if it's a foul or not." So I have VAR at home. Yeah, I'm like, it's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> it's pretty good to be fair. Smart guy. <laughs> good evening. How are you? Welcome to the Rishan Shaban show with a notable absentee, but um, we welcome back Dean Bazanis. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Pleasure to be back. I'm shitting myself. Yeah, no, nah, Rue should be okay. She'll be flying. It's lovely to see her star. I should rattle through the team news before we go any further. Let's start with the home team tonight, shall we? Of course, Republic of Ireland out at the Aviva for only the second time in their history, which is incredible. They're into the national anthems. I don't mind if you mute me just now. Courtney Brosnan and Goal, who was a superstar uh, against uh, France. Louise Quinn, Caitlin Hayes, Rusha Littlejohn, Denise Sullivan, Katie McCabe, Anna Patton, Eva Mannion, Heather Payne, Lucy Quinn and Kira Carusa. So starts tonight for Rusha and Lucy. And we look at the game tonight for England. Five changes. Five That's big changes to Serena Wiegmann's side. Hannah Hampton goal for Mary. Yeah, I think it's a yeah, very, very good change. I think Hannah's deserved it um, and she'll bring something a lot different to this English team. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a big change, I have to say. And actually, I feel good about myself because I predicted this earlier on today. I thought there might be a change in goal tonight. At the back, Lucy Bronze, Jess Carter, uh, Alex Greenwood, Leah Williamson starts for her first time in over something like 340 days. For England, Kira Walsh, Lauren James, Jess Park, Alessia Russo, Ella Toon and Lauren Hemp. So, yeah, considerable changes uh, from that game against Sweden for England. Here we go for the national anthem. Do you want me to sing it for you? Yeah, go on. Give me some. <laughs> It's nice, wasn't it? <laughs> it's nice. Wait till you see Rusha when she sings. She belts out the anthem. Does like, she, yeah? Like, have you ever seen the Italians? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. brilliant, yeah. It's, um, Chiellini it's, and Buffon used to absolutely scream it. Oh, my. But, and, it, and it's intimidating when you get a team that takes the anthem on so passionately. I'm like, that's how you want to start a big game. 100%. We're well, playing for your country. Is not, there's nothing better. And, uh, you know, at your home ground, like... Uh, the Irish girls are. I think it's a it's a massive opportunity and a massive moment for them. So why not belt it out? Smash a bit like it. you. I thought yeah. I thought you were brilliant there. Thank you. Thanks so much. I mean, <laughs> I don't know the words. Risha tried to teach me when we were at the World Cup. Um, she sings it all the time. She thinks it's one of the best anthems that really? you can get. Um, so she loves it. But um, we're minutes from being underway. Let's just reflect quickly on the games just gone so france against ireland ended 1-0 france france were exceptional by the way exceptional but ireland handled it they were d very defensive they had five center backs on the pitch for that game starting which was quite obviously a defensive setup yeah. for ireland to take a few changes tonight and then one all england against sweden did you see that game? Did you expect anything different from that? Uh, I didn't actually get to watch. I think I'm, we might have been having a game or something was on. Uh, I didn't actually watch. I saw the result. Mm -hmm. uh, I think England would have been disappointed with that result to start the campaign and with a one or draw. However, Ireland, um, you know, going down 1-0 to France. You know, France are a fantastic team, got world-class players. And, uh, you know, there's no. sometimes there's no shame in... You know, going defensive and uh, yeah. having a uh, an instruction from the coach uh, to 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 try and play it out like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah. You know, obviously Ireland defended well and stayed in the game to the end. Yeah, no, brilliant stuff. I was I was impressed with their performance, but I also wanted to see that more attacking mindset, especially when we know that on the counter they're really strong. Um, Ireland, so maybe we'll see more of that tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe before we go any further. Um, all my family are there tonight. My husband's there tonight. I don't know how that worked out, but here I am with Dino. <laughs> so we're here to provide the watch along. And I think this is good for my nerves, having somebody to talk to, have a glass of wine. Yeah, of course. Why not? Cheers. Do you ever like, cheers, do you cheers, ever cheers. like get like that for Steph? And does she get like um, that for you? When I when I first started dating Steph, yeah, I, I did um, get nervous. But look, you know, these girls are playing at the highest level for a reason, yeah. and um, you know they've done it 
many a time. So, you know, I just wish them well. And, you know, it's not so much with nerves. I just like want Steph to perform well. You know what I mean? That's because, it. Yeah. That's, that's it. You want them to have a good game, not an absolute shocker. Yeah. Like if you're sitting here tonight going, Poh, Rush, I'm miles off it. <laughs> I'd be like that. I'll say it to her face. But yeah, you would though. You yeah. would. I'd probably know it too. Yeah. It's funny because in, at the World Cup on their last game against Nigeria, she had this blinded of a game and I just didn't know any better. I was too like... Oh, what's yeah, how's how she like, been feeling? Have you spoken to her today? She's been quiet. She's been quiet. I think she's she's delighted that she's she's starting tonight. That she's getting an opportunity. She's big into the the England rivalry. Yeah, like yeah, you know, what I can she's see like, that from Rouge, yeah. She chucks it. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, in fact, I'll need to show you a video. I put it on TikTok years ago about me pranking her that life would be better for her if she was English. Oh yeah. And she was like that. <laughs> Like, she would have been absolutely fuming. She's like, what are you talking about, Cass? Like, <laughs> why would you even say that? And I was like, don't you think that, you know, English are just better than Irish? And she was like... No, nah, that's it. She's, it she's going to be throwing, it, throwing hands down soon. They're having um, a moment silence now in the stadium. And here we go. It's a big one. The Aviva looks pretty full. Um, 50,000 capacity wow. is the Aviva. And I want to say they were near on selling it out, but it looks maybe... Maybe about thirty-five to forty, which is, which is pretty fabulous. Big night for Katie there with all of her family for the second time at the Aviva, and we, as we know, she can be the game changer tonight. Yeah, of course, you know, she's a massive player for Ireland, captain, um, playing at home, as we said earlier. Yeah, this is a massive occasion, and I think if uh, the Irish can feed off the crowd, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think it could be difficult for England tonight. I don't think they're in a great. Vein of form at the moment. Um, you know, they're not blowing teams away like we've seen them do before. So I think Ireland's got every chance here. Oh, I feel a bit sick. Um, goalie to goalie, by the way, Brosnan. Yeah. Russia calls a KDB for Courtney de Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Even though she's a goalie, but she was excellent. Like, she was an absolute machine against France. She got played of the match performance against um, Nigeria at the World Cup too. So... You know, when she's in good form, things are things are good. I can yeah, see of that. course, I think obviously being a goalkeeper myself, I think you know having a good back four and a goalkeeper is important to any team. And you know, if we can um, keep the, the team in the game, it, it gives you every chance of scoring a goal. And sometimes nicking a win against teams that maybe you shouldn't get a result against. So yeah. it'll be an interesting game. It will be. Um, and Hannah Hampton too, starting for England tonight. That's a huge, huge opportunity for her. And I guess Serena. She said in a pre-match interview, if, if you missed it, that it was nothing to do with an injury with Mary. She's just blessed in that department. And it was time for Hannah to get an opportunity because she's doing so well. But when you look at, like, the league table, for example, it's hard to ignore how well Hannah's doing. Yeah, of Chelsea. course. I think Hannah's been given the chance at Chelsea, um, you know, and she's taken it with both hands. Um, you know, we've spoken about Hannah before, and I think she's... You know, one of the best keepers in the league now. Uh, what she brings with her feet and distribution is... Probably the best in the world, in my honest opinion. Mm. Um, but first and foremost, you know, you could be good with your feet, but you need to be able to be a good goalkeeper as well. And I think she's sound in that department. And I think it's a good opportunity for her. And I think Serena's made the right call here. Mm. Um, you know, if you've got strength in depth, why not um, use all the players to your disposal? So I think it's a good move. Yeah, absolutely. Hello to you guys in the comments, just as we get underway here. Nil nil. Ireland against England at the Aviva. This is for the Euro 2025 qualifier in Switzerland. Ireland's currently bottom of the group with nil poids. England have one, France have one, and Sweden have one. Uh, hiya to Jennifer. Um, corner for Ireland, brilliant start. Uh, hi to Luce. Lots of you asking where you can watch the game. It's on ITV1 or it's on RTE, so you can watch it there, but stay with us for our commentary. Um, Lots of you getting involved with the show tonight. Lots of love for Dino being back on the show too. Anger that you didn't bring your dog. I mean, what is the dog going to say that's better than what we say? <laughs> he might just sit just here and stare at the screen. He's that's all he does. Just stares at you like that when, he's, when I've got food or when I'm watching the TV. Like, but yeah, he's cute. I love him. Magnus just had him sitting here. <laughs> he could, yeah. He's giant too. He's a big old unit. <clears throat> okay. Dino, you feel free to interrupt whenever I can because I'm talking. I'm doing that thing when I talk too much. Yeah, that's all right. I'm nervous. So this is the first corner for Ireland, big opportunity. I think this is an area where Ireland can be dangerous in their set plays. They might not overly get a lot of chances, um, but, you know, this is where you can really make them count. And uh, 
set plays are crucial. You know, Quinn obviously attacks the ball very well, um, a big threat. So, yeah, I think this is where Ireland can really, really exploit uh, England. And obviously England are in a zonal marking, um, which means you can attack the ball as an Irish player. You're not being held. Um, so big opportunity here for Ireland. Zonal marking? What does that mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not men, Lord. They're not men, Mike. They're, not, oh, yeah, they're just zonal. in a zone, really. Okay. Brilliant take from Hannah there. Oh, she's made it's a, a nice restart start for Hannah. Nice restart indeed. Um, apparently Steph's got a game at like one in the morning, is that right? Mm -hmm. Are you staying up for that or are you doing the all-nighter? She's sent me a link. Um, yeah, I will try and stay Luckily I'm off training tomorrow. Oh, nice. So it gives me a chance to watch it. They're playing Mexico in a friendly, which is a a good game for them. Mm. So. And they're in America? Or they're Atlanta, in Dallas. Dallas, oh, nice I part think. of the world. Pretty sure. I'd love to go to Dallas. Maybe a great place. Yeah, I've travelled there a few times with Steph. They were in Orlando for a pre-camp and mm -hmm. then they went to Dallas um, and they actually saw an eclipse. Did you oh, see did that? Oh, did they see the eclipse? Yeah. How, how amazing. Yeah. That's saw, amazing they got to see that. Yeah, they had those 3D glasses on and uh, oh. they were miles off it and they're just standing there like that looking at the eclipse and apparently it went pitch black for four minutes. Oh, my gosh. I so, mean, it's, something different. It's weird, right? Like anything could happen in that four minutes. <laughs> Dangerous, that's a dangerous, dangerous place. It's to a be. dangerous thought. My darko thoughts. <laughs> um, I remember when I was young, still no one else, by the way. I'm nervous. Um, uh, we were in Ireland for a summer holiday and there was an eclipse. Was there? Yeah, yeah but it, wherever we were in the world, it wasn't like, like to the blackout point of the eclipse, but it was. You saw it go over and then the whole halo yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and everyone was like, don't look at it. And you know, when you're young, you're like, I'll look at you. I'll look at you. And then being like that, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't look at it, basically. Mm. It's the worst thing you can say, don't do something. Yeah, yeah. Always have to do the opposite. You just got to do it, haven't you? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, you can let us know how you're feeling about this game in the comments too. Like we say, it's a big occasion for Ireland, only their second time at the Aviva. And... Perhaps, even though five changes to Serena Wiegmann's side tonight, perhaps Ireland could get something out of this game. I mean, if they're to nick a point, it's, it's a big deal. This group, Dean, yep. bottom two are guaranteed a playoff. Oh, wow, okay. Was that a handball? No, no. no. Okay, that, yeah. So that's, that's positive, isn't it? A playoff against... Uh, Oh, obviously another group or something like that. Yeah. I've never heard of that before, bottom two playoff. Yeah, bottom two are guaranteed a playoff. That's the whole, the qualification for this is, I mean, I can't count yeah. to 10, never mind work out how <laughs> yeah. qualification works. It was the same with the Women's World Cup. It was like, you get through this playoff and then you get another playoff. And then if you get through that, there's another playoff. And I was like, <laughs> well, isn't that? And we were all like celebrating, yeah, they're going to the World Cup. And then... Roosh would come out and be like... No, she had no clue. Oh, it yeah, would have been Kate who would have been like... No, there's another game. And I'm like, really? Do we, we not celebrate that you've made history and all that? And she was like, yeah, from that playoff. And I was like, okay, we're milking it. <laughs> history from the playoff of the playoff of the playoff of the playoff. You know what I mean? It's just it's too much playoff. Oh, well, they got there in the end. I know, I know. Um, obviously, that key player tonight is uh, Kira Walsh. For England, because everything goes through her, but it does feel like teams have started to suss it out. Yeah, a fantastic player, one that I rate very highly. Mm. Uh, you know, she's so good in the ball, instrumental to every team that she plays in. Uh, yeah, I think uh, her and Kira, uh, her and sorry, Kira and um, Lauren James are two massive players for England. I think if those two can combine and get on the ball together, yeah. they can give any team trouble, really. Yeah. You know, we've seen that in the WSL and we're, you know, you can see it on the international stage too, but, you know, big Roosh is in the middle there, so. Big Roosh. I mean, gosh, it makes me nervous, Dana. It really is. It's like I a, can imagine. I think that's it. I think because she was dropped the other night, it's just how my mind works. You know, I'm like, oh, maybe they think you're pure shite. Yeah, no. I can see it. I can, <laughs> I, I can, I can see that. And as, to be fair, when you get dropped as a footballer, it's not really nice. You don't. Yeah. There's a bit of a limbo. You don't know exactly what the manager's thinking. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. then you are thinking, oh, you know, does she not? He or she not rate me anymore? Yeah. Um, but look, she's obviously valued highly, and you know she's back in, and yeah, it's great to see. Yeah, this is. Our, I think it's her 80th cap tonight. 
Is it? Wow, that's a massive achievement. Yeah. Oh. 80th cap. Oh, okay. Um, 80th cap, I think somebody said, which is great, which is nice um, to see. And uh, yeah, a good achievement for her. Because it's not been easy for her, you know. You know, it's, it's difficult for everybody, isn't it? Yeah, of course. To play 80 caps for your country, that is, that's amazing. You know, not many people can say they've done that. Did you um, ever get capped for us? I've never been capped, no, no. Miles off it, not good enough. But it is what it is. We go again. <laughs> Sorry, brother. We keep up. plugging away, <laughs> keep working hard. Wifey's getting it done. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. She's making up the caps for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so obviously the other day when we watched Arsenal, she had a hundred cap for Arsenal as well. So she's doing really well, and it's, you know, it's good to see the girls uh, progressing and you know taking the game to the next level. It's what it's all about. Yeah. Definitely. Good bit of play there from Ireland, combining well in the wide area. Um, yeah, they've got quality Ireland. You know, you can really see that there's going to be chances here oh, for them. That's a decent cross. Nobody there. Oh, Let's get lashed. Let's get lashed. Let's get lashed. Let's get lashed. <laughs> You know, um, you know Alan Brazil? Yeah. Right, so there's a... I've been listening to him. He's, he has been making some <laughs> crazy <laughs> comments. <laughs> he is out of control, he right? He is, yeah. And um, at the same time, I, I love him. I love him because he's really... He's got a pure good heart, yeah. you know? Um, he cracks me up. But there's this... Um, when he did Cheltenham, Alan's been doing Cheltenham for over 20 years. So if you can do five days, it's a huge achievement. So TalkSport put him on a five days. <laughs> yeah. And then it becomes betting odds. Will he make five days? Right? No way. Wait, so he didn't turn up Friday. Text is like, I'm knackered, man. I need a long while. Like, everyone's like, yeah, go on, Alan. Miss your day of work. But then they played out this package. And he's like that. I'm away to get lashed. And I just think it's the funniest <laughs> thing that anyone could say on the radio because nobody talks like that. Uh, yeah, he seems like a really, really good guy, to be honest. <laughs> He's I, heard the, uh, I was laughing. I had to give Jay a little text when uh, he was calling Jay the sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jay gets it tight. He'll be like, I don't get what he does with his life. All he does is play golf and take the kids to school. He's like, I don't get it. He, just, yeah. like, he knows everything about Jamie, yet he just loves to make fun of him. I think oh. it's a term of endearment, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's good fun. It's good fun. Um, okay, so apparently we're out of sync with the game again. Guys, don't do this to me. Come on. How far behind now? How are we? We're 10 minutes behind. No, we're not. <laughs> England just kicked Ireland off. Ireland are 3-2 three, three, up. <laughs> Let me just buffer it. Wait, National anthems with... have just finished and yeah. England just kicked off. <laughs> Good luck, girls. I know. Uh, Surely I'm fine, dear. I mean, I can't do this. We actually said this before, but... Yeah. I'll be fine. I don't miss any opportunities. You know what? I'm going to keep it as it is, and then I can refresh it half-time. If anything, we're like 30 seconds behind, and I think that's the thing when you're streaming it. Yeah, you can't it's get live-life. You get a satellite dish on my head. Look at me, though. I've bigged the screen for you. <laughs> What a touch. What a touch. Um, okay, something's happened. Something's happening. We've missed a game. We've missed a goal. Lauren James has scored for England. Okay, yeah, we um I'm a bit behind here. We're watching it on the Shams. replay. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the replay here. Lauren James has scored for England. Damn you, Lauren Not James. Soon. She's scoring she very soon. <laughs> How many minutes are we behind is the question. At least a good minute. Kira Walsh. With a cross. Cut back. Head. Here it is. Lauren James, oh, great finish. Oh, no. So can we knock off somebody? Did it take a slight defense. deflection, did it? Did. It took a little deflect off of, is that Caitlin Hayes? Or Big Lou? We'll see this again. I said she just walks this round, doesn't she? I she think just... once Lucy uh, wins the first header, that's where the problem is. If you don't make contact in the box... You know, in the first phase, it then becomes difficult. And then you've got quality players like Lauren James who can, with one chance, put the ball away. Yeah, I think Katie gets a bit stuck under the ball there. Oh, bit of Lucy Quinn, I think, there. Um, oh, damn. Damn. Okay. They really have to get back into this now, dust themselves off. What minute did they go down against the France the other, the other day? 
Oh, like two minutes, Dean. Oh, there you go. Two minutes and then, like, park the bus. Um, and they were great. Like, defensively, they just, they usually can get it done. Um, but I think that's the thing, first and foremost. When you play these big games, you know, you want to stay in the game for as long as you can. And if you do go down early, I think it's crucial now for Ireland the next 10 minutes that they don't concede again, 10, 15 minutes, they don't concede again. Stay in the game as long as they can. You know, they look very open here and uh, that Tooney, Tooney's doing stepovers. So she's starting tonight. You know, good opportunity for her. Oh, okay. Is something happening again? I'm scared to see it. <laughs> I'm scared to see it. I'm going to put it on here too. Shaves, it feels like we are miles behind. Really? In this Let's see. 13 minutes. 15 minutes, 20, 10 seconds. Oh, that's nothing. Watch that one here. <laughs> we are miles off it. <laughs> miles and miles oh, off nothing's it. Nothing's happened or anything. Nothing's Has happened. Has it? Um, so, yes, the top two teams qualify from the group to go to the Euros and the bottom two will take a playoff spot. I believe that's guaranteed. If you know any differently, you can hit me up. But that's... That's what I believe is the situation thus far. Um, I feel like that guy on TikTok here with the double screen. I know. That's who we are, we're becoming. I mean, I need to get the TV on the wall, don't I? Next, yeah, next I, watch along, it'll be up there, I promise. I've TV already on the sourced wall would be the TV. Sick, to be fair. Yeah, big TV up there. And then it means I need, I need, one, of those, I need one of those dodgy sticks, though, because you need it's hard to watch all of the games, isn't it? I think all the internationals, though. Are on ITV, but then England uh, are. yeah, but then uh, you know when Arsenal play or the WSL games play, it's on that um, Sky or Beeb. Yeah, but the uh, what's it called the FA player? The FA player, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's fifteen minutes going, so yeah, we're thirty seconds behind, but it's fine. Everyone, we're fine. It's fine, now we're all good. We're so. one nil down. Are you like rooting for England tonight? Is that what you do? No, I'm a neutral, to be honest. Um, you know, I love football and I, I watch as many games as I can. Um, yeah, look, obviously I want England to do well, but there's a bit of a connection there with Roosh, so mm. I'm a neutral here. And she'll batter you if you... <laughs> if I go against so you it, yeah. You're literally sitting in our chair <laughs> wearing an England top. <laughs> you should have done that. That would have been great. <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah, we like St George Cross flag on you and all that. <laughs> go on, no, England! To be funny, there's, there's a... Uh, when the, um, England played the, in the Euro final, mm. uh, so I was like to my mate, I was actually on the golf course with my mate from Sutton, one of my good mates, and I said, oh, do you want to go to the, the, the final tonight? He goes, yeah. He goes, but you're not English. I said, ah, it doesn't matter. So anyway, Beth actually sort of some tickets. I went to the Euro final. I had a Euro, I had an England flag on. Oh, Dean. England uh, shirt. Dean, And I was belting out all the tunes. They went one year laugh. I, f I actually feel English for about 30 seconds. Fair enough. I mean, do you know what? Some people are so, oh, fuck. Something's happened. Rue with a handball penalty for England. Oh, Russia. No, 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 they've got to be winding this up. No, I don't think this is a... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a wind up. It's not a wind up. This is serious. This is serious business right now. Oh, oh dear. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. They must be at the stadium because we can't be this far behind. I think it's a wind-up. Why would they all gang up on us like that? Oh, that's harsh. Oh, that's, that's so harsh close. Handball. It's so close to her body. Oh, that's harsh. Oh, well. Oh, I, think, oh. I think she's done well to go out, close the ball. You know, she's turned her back. You know, all this stuff about unnatural position and all that. What oh, did, dear. Come on, she, Courtney. Big save, please. Oh, God. See, this is why I want to puke my fucking guts up. Oh, no. Is that VAR? I think so. I think that's very harsh. It's the thing now, isn't it? If it comes off you somehow, it's the thing. Like, I'd get, see, like... There's a slow. It comes off. Beat you on the head. Oh, yeah. It's near her face too. Like I, I don't understand it. Yeah, okay, it's a bit outside of her body, but still, like, how did, how is she supposed to go and attack the ball like like a salmon <laughs> like this and you know all the time? 
Oh, that's sick now. Oh no, I feel awful. That's awkward. Who's taking it, Greenwood? Yeah, I think she scores. 2-0, England. It's good start from England, but... Yeah. You know, I think that's a bit harsh start, to be honest with you. Awesome having Dean on the show for commentary, by the way. Oh, thank you. Okay. Greenwood takes the penalty, obviously puts it away. And... Sent the keeper the wrong way. It's a good penalty, to be fair. Yeah. This is what we were talking about earlier, you know, Ireland trying to stay in the game. and. 2-0 becomes difficult now. Um, but they always say 2-0 uh, is a uh, dangerous scoreline. You know, if Ireland get one, you know, the game can change quickly on its head. And all it takes is, you know, the fans get behind Ireland and yeah. noise and, you know, put a bit of pressure on England. Yeah, change the momentum kind of thing. They just need to regroup, get back into it, shake it off. No VAR, by the way. No VAR no in this VAR. game. So... Is that that set now? There just can be no hands up. That's yeah. At all, like anyway, I'd be like that. Ah! <laughs> ah! So, Get back! So what are you supposed to do from like point blank range? I like, just stand there and just like the yeah, oh, I broke a nose, brilliant yeah. off the hospital. I know, like not no cat like reflexes in this game. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Like if you turn your back, you can't see where the ball is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think oh. there's a the the rules a bit. There's a big grey area there, yeah. I think, for me. Um, I thought Ireland would have gotten something tonight, so they need to turn things around. Time to, like, what changes would you make in terms of in the game now? What would you...? Well, I think for me it's imperative that they go in minimum 2-0 down. I wouldn't start changing the game, uh, chasing the game straight away, sorry. You know, um, if it means going a bit more defensive and trying to see it out, I think uh, it comes a point in time where you have to understand the game and see that England are on top, they are controlling it at the moment. And I think to go in at halftime at 2-0 is imperative. Yeah, there's still 25 minutes to go. Um, but I think once Ireland start chasing the game too quick, they then become open and it allows England to exploit the play spaces in behind. Um, you know, I think right now it's it's crucial that they, uh, that they, they ha as I said earlier, they have to stay in the game. Yeah. If it becomes 3-0, I think, in my opinion, it's game over. I think it's a massive uphill task there. I agree. I agree. That's the thing. You're at the Aviva tonight. It's the opportunity to, like, really put on a show, turn things around. If anything that can help you in this game, it will be the fans. Of course, yeah. Kind of thing. Um, you know, we saw that at the World Cup with the the Australian fans, how much it helped them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they didn't start the group stage that well. Um, yeah. You know, they could have been out against Canada, but I think that game, you know, fans helped them and, uh, you know, pushed them through and pushed them over the line. Should move this more. Yeah. Is that all right? So this is our lean. This is our main guy. This one's in our replay. <laughs> and you guys that are actual live input. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got three different times here. We've got live, <laughs> second live, and third live. You guys are our real live, so thank you. Please like and subscribe, by the way, if you haven't already. Please. That would be very, very kind. Um, and let's hope we can turn this around. I think I feel the whole um, telepathy side of things. Do you? I think I feel sick for her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I think it's I think it's nice how you get nervous. You should see my mum on a match day whenever <gasps> she decides to get up and watch it. It's like oh, two o'clock in the morning, and my grandma, my grandma's the best. Oh, oh, how old's your the, granny? Uh, seventy-two. Wow, uh, that's young. But as soon as she the ball goes anywhere near, I think within forty yards of my goal. My mum says she starts doing this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Obviously, being Greek background, <laughs> it's, it's, it's my yeah, yeah. That's Greek for uh, grandmother. It's, she's like, you know, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, like be quiet, like relax. It's 40 yards away. Yeah. It's still got a long way to go. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, but she's brilliant. <clears throat> she's the best. Oh, 72, Dean, that's young. Yeah. How old was your mum then when she had you? 20 young, I think. 20 young. 20 something, I don't know. But no, it's, I wasn't alive, so I didn't see it. Oh, <laughs> gosh, what happened? 20-something? <laughs> so uh, she was very, I think I'm going to say 22, to be honest with you. So. You're a, having a 72-year-old granny is like, I, I think that's young, especially when you're like 33, aren't you? 
Yeah. See me just me? No. All mine are dead. <laughs> oh, oh look yeah. at me, look at me, I've got a granny. <laughs> Well, my grandfather passed away about 10 years ago and, uh-huh. yeah, so that's – I'm fortunate that I've still got both my mother, uh, grandfather and grandfather – grandfather and grandmother from my father's side and my grandmother from my mum's. So, but, you know, obviously being away from home and stuff mm-hmm. like that, you know, when I go home I like to spend as much time with them because obviously, you know, when you don't and you're away from home it makes it that all a bit much difficult. Mm-hmm. But I think me playing football doesn't help, you know, the heart with my grandma because she's always screaming and always on edge, but she'll be right, I think. You feel it so much for you, don't you? Like, yeah. that's all it is. And they, and they, yeah, that's it. It's like if you have a game, they feel it, all of it, you know. As the saying goes, Dean, you can only be as happy as your least happy child. So if you're unhappy, they're unhappy. Okay. It's well, a nice positive a thought when you have yeah. some children. Um, hi to TTDUB. Sorry, Shebang. I'll take it. Ireland used to park in the bus. England just too classy. Look at the way they move the ball around the pitch. I agree, England are a classy team. I've no doubt about that. Uh, Rue and Chloe Kelly playing volleyball. I love seeing grannies watch their grandkids play football. They're excited yet nervous in equal measures. It's funny. Hi, Tony. Rue's going in hard. Rue's been outstanding apart from playing volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> Hi to Morgan, starting to regret my choice not snowboarding today and watch the game instead. I cannot take it. Rue has fire in her belly. I'm not, I'm not, stop talking to me about Rue. I don't even know her, okay? She gave away a handball, she gave away a penalty, she's out of my will. <laughs> yeah. <All> right? <laughs> We're done. That's it, finish. One handball, done. It's just like, can't be my sister anymore. Yeah. Like, we're not talking. Never been a fan. <laughs> yeah. Never. She's not welcome back here. Okay. I'm sat in a seat as well. <laughs> just... Wouldn't have been you, would it, Dean? Would never have been you. Okay. It's a busy old game, to be fair. Um, it's about, it's not, I actually, don't get me wrong, even, okay, the scoreline, but I like to see them moving around. I like to see a bit more. Like Katie. Well, she flew in there, didn't she? Yeah, I think, I look, you, see. we've seen passage of play where Ireland have, you know, in build-up they've done really well and around the box they've looked sharp. I think going down 2-0 early in the game, you know, there's, like, there's going to be a lot of nerves before the game even started. So to play under that pressure, um, but now here, like even in build-up here, it's controlled, it's, you know, they don't look too nervy. So like I said, if they, you know, manage to nick a goal or get one, I think the game can turn very quickly. Mm-hmm. And also, like, if you are Ireland, and I obviously Leah Williamson's a fantastic player. Mm-hmm. You know, I rate her very highly. At the, you know, it's good as, to see her back. as a centre back, and it's very good to see her back. And I know personally how hard she's worked to get back. But yeah. you know, even if you try to exploit the space in behind her, you know, she hasn't played for a long time at this level. You know, that could be one way Ireland will get back in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, by like trying to isolate Leah and getting balls in behind and, and stretching the game. But in saying that, you know, England control possession very well, which makes it difficult. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hi to Elise Shaban. Is Rusha the kind of player that can shake this off? Obviously, it was an unfair decision. No one can blame her for it, but is she hard on herself when stuff like this doesn't work out? Yeah, I'd say so. She probably is, but I think she's shown that she's not switched off, if anything. I think she's trying to give it a little bit more. Um, so we'll see, these things happen, these things happen, it has to be shaken off. Um, lots of people asking how we know each other. So I've been stalking Dean for like, what, th- three, four years now? <laughs> yeah, the restrainer order came in. Uh, you know, we, we know each other through the football, through the Arsenal games. Yeah, we met at the Arsenal games. At Arsenal yeah. games, yeah, it would have been, yeah. Um, and now he's covering for Rush while Rusha makes an arse of it for Ireland. Um this is looking bad for Sweden qualifying. Morning to Ruby, 4.30am, wherever she is in the world. Sweden have been beat 1-0 by France full time. Oh, was it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a big result for France. That puts them on now four points. Um, yeah, Sweden, interesting. Um, one point from two games. I don't think they'd be too happy with that. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they're obviously another powerhouse in women's football. Um, well, there you go. So even if... To England... Oh, fuck. Not another pen. What's happened now? I know we're behind, guys, but you've got to stop winding us up. 
Seriously. You can't just be shouting pen, 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 pen. It's a pen. Is it? It's got to be a pen. It's got to be a pen. Hopefully for Ireland then. Have they said who for? Or for England then? <coughs> F's sake. They're getting pumped. Right, what's happened? Here we go. Think that's English? <laughs> who is the referee, by the way? Good question. Oh, is there another handball? Don't see it. Oh, no. That is unlucky. No. And there's no <sighs> VAR either, so you can't even go back. Oh, Lou's not happy. God, this is bad. This is bad. 3 now, Dean. Yeah, yeah, this could be tough for Ireland now. You know, England look, <sighs> look in the mood. Um, okay, they need to make some changes. They need to get back into this game. What? Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna go for face. That's not handball. Did it come off her face? It's not handball. Oh, it did too. It's not a, that's a that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's not a handball. Is that a handball? From from the free plays that I've seen here, it doesn't look like a handball to me. I think even the Irish coach is arguing it. Lucy doesn't look too happy. No. Come on, Courtney. Does Alice go the same way? Fucking hell. Change? Yes! <laughs> there you go. Oh, the is justice. Thanks. She hit the post. Okay. We know Great. that. Even though we haven't watched it yet, we still know. <sighs> Thank God for that. Well, that was a massive opportunity for England to put the game in. Ben, there we go. Big moments can change the game. So. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to vomit all over this table. <laughs> Imagine I dad running around all over your side and then washed it I, down I, with I'm a sip of shabby. Like, I'm, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'd be vom I cannot do it. You know Can when you, you see somebody, that? you only see somebody else gag or vomit that makes you feel like that. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's bogging on it. When people puke, it's either the funniest thing, yeah. unless they're filthy. It's disgusting. Like when Rusha would be like. Back in the day, so yeah, <laughs> and she'd be sick. I'd piss myself. Like, it'd be the funniest noise, like of her puking. Calvin's doing this thing now. It's like freaking me out. So like, I'll take him for a walk, throw his ball, yeah. and he's so lazy. He does. It. He goes <laughs> home and he won't stand up and drink his water. He will lie next to his bowl, and his face will be in the bowl, and he'll sit there like that. So it's like he's like he's not going down properly, and then he starts coughing, like, yeah. a, like making a vomit yeah, noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at him like, mate, just stand up and drink, and you'll be fine. But he just sits there, coughs, coughs, drinks, coughs. I'm thinking, hey, mate, nothing better happen to you now because that's gonna absolutely kind of go to town on me. <laughs> oh, the new couch. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, here's a brilliant video, by the way. I'll find it, I'll send it to you, of a woman doing a Zoom or a Teams talk to, like, a panel of people. So she's speaking in her, working from home, and I think she said there's something like 100 people she's doing this presentation to, and her dog comes in in the background and starts coughing sick. Oh, no. So she's, like, trying to concentrate, and he's going... <laughs> eh, in the background. <laughs> so funny. And then she just is, like... And then, um, and then, uh, oh, so she's trying to be so she, serious. Uh huh. So she's just like forgotten what she's talking about. Her dog's coughing up in the background. It's so funny. I mean, <laughs> he's class. I mean, to be fair, the other day I had to do this interview with Steph. Yeah. And I, I, I've made sure now because, like I said, like Calvin will just sit there, stare, want something or do something. So I have to put peanut butter on one of his licky pads, lick it to the floor, and that's it. I know he's safe yeah, there. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, if I have one of those moments, yeah, oh I don't think I'd be able to handle it yeah. hearing Calvin uh, vomit behind me. He's a big boy. He'd be a lot of puke, wouldn't he? <laughs> I've just spent the last five minutes talking about <laughs> vomiting. That's how I feel, though. That's so funny. <sighs> a few people in the chat have actually seen it. Oh, know yeah. exactly what I'm talking about. Very, very funny. Um, now, one thing I was going to ask you there, I'm, I'm really glad actually that Alex Green would miss that penalty. I mean, no disrespect to her, but that was not a penalty. And actually, in these games, 
VAR is so important and I know VAR is not we've had this chat before yeah, haven't we yeah. it's not it's not made things better in men's football and we can learn from that but that officiating is pish and there has to be somebody else who's communicating with her and saying that wasn't a handball yeah of course uh, look, we said it before VAR's got its pros and cons um, and so there's like you know refereeing when it's on their own and make their own decisions um, I personally am not a fan of VAR. Um, I know the referee made a mistake there. Um, yeah, sorry, ref. Uh, but look, I think I think there needs to be it needs to be figured out either way. You know, the, these these calls are costing teams. They're to- costing uh, players and managers. You know, their livelihoods really. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, I think there just needs to be they need they need to find a way to to become more consistent. Yeah. Now, whether the I don't know if the officiating and you know, around England is full time, you know, in all mm. levels, but yeah, I, I don't know what needs to be done, or they just need to watch the screen and the, the rules need to be black and white. This is a handball. This isn't a handball. Yeah, that or know. not, they should be given the opportunity to have a wee replay kind of thing. Then yeah. see, because if you watch that replay, there's no point. It comes off her face. It doesn't go off her hand. So I mean, thank God that then that went off the post there because. 3 0 down is a shocker. You yeah, know, a shocker tough. in the first half yeah, and 30 in, minutes. Going in at 3 0 down minimum, you know. <sighs> second game at the Aviva, you know, it'd be tough to, you know, to come out in the second half yeah. after that. I've just got a load of notifications on my phone. So if you keep that, hearing, bzz, bzz, it's all the it League Arsenal? Two games tonight. Is it Arsenal? Arsenal and then all the league all the League Two games. So Interesting. Colchester plays Stockport tonight and we need Stockport to win. Which okay. Is, uh, so. Okay, fine. We've got to watch along for those games then too. Oh, this ref has made mistakes before, but against England, says Rachel. Rachel, good intel. Thank you very much for that. So perhaps she's been nice to England today. Anyone <laughs> goes like that and she's like, handball. <laughs> it's a penalty. Broken nose and not a handball. She better be careful because my mum's there and she is wild. <laughs> is she, yeah. I'm joking, she's not. She's like, she's there and she's like, oh, I should be watching this at home. I'm like, babe, you haven't been out about 10 years. <laughs> Go and enjoy the game. She just, again, it's that nervous thing we were talking about, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Hi, if you've just joined us. Hope you're doing all right. It is the Ireland against England watch along here on the channel for the Euro 2025 qualifiers. It's not going well for the girls in green. They're 2 nil down at this moment. And um, Arsenal... Arsenal, uh, Ireland conceded a penalty through, you know, the less attractive twin, let's call it what it is, spade a spade, <laughs> Roosh, gave away a penalty, it's a handball. And then there was another handball too, but it ended up, um, the penalty came off the post. Alex Greenwood took two of them, but Lauren James scored the first goal, England are two now up, um, about 36 minutes played. Looks like uh, Ireland are playing a 5 4 1, so they have gone into a low block. Um, yeah, whether or not they're, they're, they're trying to play for set pieces or they're trying to stay in the game, I think, uh, you know, something has changed because they have gone to a 5 4 1. Mm-hmm. Um, but these are the opportunities now where they need to try and make the most of it. I know we're behind, I'm probably commentating on something that has happened earlier, but. I can feel your nerves, Shebs. I can feel the nerves. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm not, I, I do, I just get about like. <sighs> yeah, of course. See, it's see, a big it. moment. Like, it's, I can, I can, wouldn't, when I have my kids or, you know, yeah. stuff like that, I think, you know, do you have someone like so close to you playing and, you know, feeling that? Yeah. I f- yeah they, they say that your family feel the same emotions as you do when you're on the pitch. So, yeah. It's um, it's okay. It's it's fine. It is what it is. It's just um, it's just not what I expected tonight to be. I had in my head this vision. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When you like visualize <laughs> it, you see it, you believe it, you achieve it, all that nonsense. <laughs> in my head, I've seen a whole different fucking situation. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wasn't like this. <laughs> You're seeing Rouge hat trick. Oh. That's like, yeah, that's like knees what? lies in the corner like yeah, this. It's never happened. Why would it happen tonight? You still do yourself up, don't you? Uh, okay. Oh, something's happening. Okay. 
Okay, nothing's happening. Don't worry about us. In the ball hit the ref. Oh, ref. Look at that shanner. 37 minutes gone. It's gone quick. It has indeed. Actually, I think it's about 39 minutes now. Oh, yeah. It's probably, it's probably half time whistle just blown. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. At oh, least in. It's, <laughs> it's half time. <laughs> They've leveled it out. <laughs> I'm going to get a TV in the wall for next time. Don't worry about Bring it. Bring from Ireland there to go in at two all half time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, how far behind are you? That's a good question, isn't it? Well, one screen saying 37.46, one saying 37.38, and I think it's about 30 seconds, but it's all right. That's fine. It's fine. It's we're, just, fine. we're winging nobody, it. We're, literally we're... nobody's noticed. <laughs> Bar when the computer went bing, 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 penalty, <laughs> penalty, penalty, penalty. <laughs> it's like we got the notification on our phone before we saw it. And uh, I looked at the screen and you're all like, oh, it's a penalty. Rush is shit. <laughs> <laughs> LJ. Good hands. When's the, season? When's the league back? Like when's, this, yeah, they this got weekend, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so play Sunday against Bristol City. Right, oh, okay. We've got another notification there. Oh, well. Let me just have a look. Okay. Anything happening, guys? We don't know about? Yeah. You feel free to get in the old comments. We do appreciate it. Well, please subscribe if you haven't already. I see you. You returning 10,000 who don't <laughs> subscribe. I see you. Okay, I might be a minute behind the game. Do not deserve a sub. Probably not. Maybe that's why. <laughs> that's why they're not subscribing. Uh, anyway. Okay. We're going strong. What's your prediction for the end of this game? I'm going to say... I got the score right last time we did this. You did? You did? I'm going to say... You might not like it, then. 4-1 oh, oh. England. Oh. What? 4-1 England? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Yeah, that's what I'm not gonna say. I can't lie. Could lie. <laughs> yeah. Could lie to me. <laughs> Could. Four one. And Rue, she's gonna score. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> she's gonna dink a penalty. Chloe said five one England. Uh, Dean's five. four one England. You lot are out of order. Oh, Chloe said five. Oh. Be nice to me. My bet is five one. No, it can't nah, be five one. Ireland joking. are good defensively. When was five the last two, time they conceded two, that many Ireland. goals? What was that? What was their goals at the World Cup? One 0 Australia. Mm-hmm. That was a penalty. Yeah, Steph Catley yeah. top corner bosh. <laughs> bye bye Ireland. <laughs> Eighty thousand fans. Oh, love See you me, later. love me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one 0 Arsenal. Oh, come on, Notif- you Arsenal! <laughs> Notif- notifications come through. I think Arsenal uh, will absolutely whip them tonight. And then they, I know Katie scored a corner in the third game in Perth. That's the second game. Second Canada. Game. Yeah. They could beat 2 1 in that game. And the last game was now now. Was it? Yeah. Nigeria. There you go. So they What's don't that? concede goals, more yeah. than two goals. So you can take your 4 1 and shove it. <laughs> I'm going to say it's going to be 2 all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm hoping, be... I actually hope it is, to be honest. I'm going to be really, really positive. 10 0, Lucy the Cleaner. Sharp. <laughs> Shut up, get me here. Subscribe and be on your way. They better hurry up and start scoring. Them. Liberties. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not here for this abuse today. Ten no. <laughs> she is nervous as it is. I know. I know. I Honestly, off. I'm a week to get lashed. <laughs> <laughs> My mum's gonna be a bag of nerves, Nate. Dean, you have no idea. I like Courtney. It's another big chance for England there. I yeah. think. Uh-huh. Lauren James. <laughs> <laughs> see that same. That's bad karma, isn't it? When you see things like that, they can't see things like that. No, you can't. No. Oh. Oh well, we'll see. What's your? Oh, you said two, two. Okay. Lots of people agreeing with Dean on this one. Fine, you know where to go. <laughs> Dean in his England top. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, forty-two so. minutes played. Have you been to Ireland? No, I haven't. <coughs> I will be going to Ireland if Liverpool make the Europa League final. Oh, yeah. It's, is that? Oh, yeah, it's it's a Dublin, stadium, yeah. It's yeah. Like Aviva, yeah, you're right. By the way, that'll be bonkers. Oh, well, there's a massive uh, in Ireland. Or the 
there's so many Liverpool fans in Ireland, so it'll be huge. Mm-hmm. And then people come from all around the world, it'll be massive. Mm-hmm. Because there was a chance when Rangers are out now, but there was the discussion that it could have been Rangers Liverpool in the Aviva, which would have been that would have been absolutely crazy. All kinds of carnage, kind of thing. Um, but I don't think Rangers are. I think Rangers are out now. Do you watch the old firm at the weekend? Do you yes, watch the I old did. Firm, yeah? Yes, I did. Three, three. What a game! It was a good game, wasn't it? Was it? Unbelievable! What a game! Yeah. They've still got Cump Parkhead, so I'm a Celtic fan. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was a bit, you know, hard for me to watch when Gerard was a uh, manager of Rangers, but yeah, you know, I, I like Celtic. One of my good mates, Aaron Moy, was there, obviously. Oh, is he your friend? He's yeah, a great player. Yeah, good uh, mate of mine. Yeah, uh, we grew up together in Sydney, and no way. You know, played a lot together. He just um, retired, didn't he? Yeah, he did. What's he doing now? Just absolutely living the life in Australia. He's moved out to Byron Bay, actually. I'm not sure if you know where that is. I but... have been to Byron Bay. Oh, you have, yeah. I have been to Byron Bay. I went when I was there for I'm a Celebrity. I got the weekend off. Okay. And I drove over to Byron Bay. I've never been. Have You've you been? not? No. Oh, Dean. Moise is telling me that it's unbelievable. Oh, what a special place. Is it? Yeah. Absolutely. I, I can't believe go. you've not been there and you're from no. Sydney. But then it's closer to Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. it's closer to Brisbane, isn't it's it? It's about three hours from a flight. But still, everybody goes to Byron. Yeah. yeah. They don't like it, do they? How... Touristy, yeah, it gets. It, it, yeah, uh, the locals, yeah. I think um, it was one of the most... There's a place, so once you go up from Byron, I don't know it, it's called Watergo Bay. Okay. And um, the the whales are up there. There's a lighthouse there and the whales come up at a certain time oh, of no year. Way. All the surfers are there. It, well, it was, it was... I just went on my own. It was lovely. Oh, Madrid are being city 2-1 apparently. Are they? <sighs> That's mental. No. Yeah, and 1-0 Arsenal. I think I think Madrid could do damage tonight. Do you know they put this, the roof on the Bernabeu? Yeah, for a big, big atmosphere. I wonder if that changes the way the game's played or anything like that. Mm. Obviously, no win, but yeah, I think what Madrid, the team that Madrid are building, I think they're going to be a powerhouse, especially yeah. if Mbappe goes there. It oh. will, it will, they will, yeah, Bellingham, what a sign! Right, man. The amount of people in the chat is like, "How's Dean not made a Byron?" <laughs> I like, literally are. You well, sound I moved like here when I was Byron. 16, to be fair. True, you've got, still got time. Still got time on your side. Go there for the honeymoon. I don't even think Steph's, Steph's, been, I don't even think Steph's been to Byron. Is she in Melbourne, yeah? Yeah, she's, she's Melbourne, Melbourne, yeah. Melbourne? Got that. Right. Melbs. Oh, One nil Stockport. Come on, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to reverse this. I hope they get beat 4-1. <laughs> Stop that. Why? Just to pile the that's pressure on you. Sutton. That's bad for the boys. Pile pressure on you guys this weekend. <laughs> that's what you get for chucking it 4 1 England. <laughs> no, I said 4 2. Come on, McCabe. <laughs> We've got McCabe. That's what they do, isn't it? <laughs> 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 it's like that, um, do you know that clap, that famous clap they do? Is it, um, oh, the it, fuck. Icelandic clap, have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, that, go, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that line? It's... Oh my God, I watched Iceland at the Euros a couple of years ago and they started doing that. I had no idea it existed. And I was like, this is so intimidating. And then they get really fast yeah. and like really raucous. And I was like, oh my God. Um, speaking of Melbs, are you going to do a watch along for Arsenal, the Australian A-League All-Stars? Oh, yeah. Um, is Steph going to that? No, yeah, it's half time. How far behind are we? <laughs> is it? <laughs> England just got their second penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. It's 2 0 England. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, it is half time. Uh, what was the question? Um, Can't remember. We were talking about the Iceland thing, weren't we? No, but someone asked a question, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> half time last. Yes, one, we know. One Arsenal. We know. Come on. I um, know. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, the Australian Arsenal All-Stars thing. Best All-Stars things. Yeah, I've got my be- one of my best mates wedding, so, yeah, I'll be in the Mallorca for that, actually. Okay. So he won't uh, be there. So. He won't be there. Apparently, Bayern have made it 1-1 one well, one, one for Arsenal uh, against Did Arsenal. Did Harry Kane score? Yes, I'm no, quick, quick. Yes. Check, yeah. has, he, has he scored? We'll wait for the comments. Okay. Someone from the comments. First one that comments gets five. I'll go. we we'll say Harry Kane has scored. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I still think. Come on, has Harry Kane scored anyone? Come on, guys. What do you think this is? We've got all the information <laughs> sitting here. We're about 10 minutes behind. <laughs> we don't have this intel. Nah, Gnabry. Oh. 
Okay, okay, okay. What we're going to do is take a quick five minute break. Let us go for a wee wee and um, stay we'll be there. Back on. We'll put on the holding screen and we'll come back to you and I'm going to restart everything. I'll still be 30 seconds behind, but this is where you guys are brilliant. Like, subscribe, do not go any further, do not go anywhere, go and get a cup of tea, whatever you're going to do. And we'll be back with you in like five minutes. See you then.
We back. We back, girls. How are you? Welcome back to the Rishan Shaban Show. This is a live watch along of Republic of Ireland against England at the Aviva Stadium. My name's Shaban. Dean Buzanis is in the house. Um, it's 2-0 England. And I think there's been some changes this half. I want to say Rue has dropped to the bench. Um, and I think Megan is warming up. So there we go. Some changes there. Um... I knew I shouldn't watch this. This is what I do. I get excited. I get nervous. Something shit hams. <laughs> it can't be. She said 80 cards. That's a lot of games. It can't be 80 times something's yeah. happened. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody Achilles, though. Like. Yeah. Achilles. Have you heard the Russian song? Have you heard this song? No. Oh, God. I need to still let you hear this song at some point. This is like a watch long, but a bit of karaoke, too. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Icelandic cup, yeah. karaoke, watch <laughs> long. I <don't> know. <laughs> Bosh! Oh, oh, we're miles off it. That hey, is so uh. funny. <laughs> ooh! <laughs> <laughs> how, how do they do it though? They go, ooh! Yeah, it's way deeper but than it's that. It's so loud. And they're all in unison. Oh, it's so funny. And I, I always get afraid. I know it's coming, but also. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, welcome back. Good to be with you. We're hoping there's going to be some significant improvements from Ireland in this half. They haven't played badly. They have um, Lauren James, good good goal from hard defensively. Ireland couldn't stop it, that first goal for England. And then there was a handball conceded by a little-known gal called Rue, Little John. And Alex Greenwood took it. She scored it, made it 2-0. And then, controversially, they got another penalty. Um it was commentary there. Karen Carney was saying it came off Louise Quinn's thigh and then hit her arm. I didn't even see it hit her arm. I've watched the replay. Oh, it looked like, it looked like it. twice hit her head but, or her face. But yeah. Um, the rule is if it comes off your uh, your leg or your, your body into your arm, then it's no handball. So Right. So luckily it wasn't it wasn't to be. Um, and they missed it. Well, Alex Green would hit the post. And thankfully, a little bit of justice for Ireland. Um, so let's see what happens in this second half. Megan Campbell has come on for Roosh. Um, I, th I saw Roosh going off and signal towards the bench. I believe her Achilles are doing it a bit of damage. It's blooming usual. But also, just, you know, we're healthy. All that kind of snaz. And hopefully, have you seen Megan Campbell's throw in? No. Have you not seen Megan Campbell's throwing? Oh, my God. So she's... I don't know if everybody knows this yet, but Rish has told me a few times that she's, like, hyper-double-jointed. Double well, so she can just, so, like, so put she, her hands all the way back. She holds the ball like this, like some sort of NBA player. What? If, we, if there'll be a throw-in, you'll see it. And she almost can put her arms so much further back that they come out their sockets. No way. Dean, she'll do, like, the length of the pitch with a throw-in, so she's such a threat. Such a threat. Oh, it's Megan Conley, not Megan Campbell. It's awesome. <laughs> Trick <job. laughs> Told you. <laughs> she will come on, though. I'm sure Megan Campbell will come on. But Megan Conley, great player. Absolutely love her. She's busy also. But playing in this position, I, I love Megan Conley also at centre back because she is a she's a nuisance. You know, she's a nuisance the way she marks players. Um, she really does her job that way, but but playing a bit further up tonight. Yeah, I can't wait to see this throwing. Uh, uh, Little story about throw-ins and that. Mm. Uh, Rory the lap when he was at Stoke. Mm. I remember uh, training at Liverpool and they were preparing for the, his long throws and literally, like, it wasn't about tactics. It wasn't about this is how they're going to play. They just set up to defend Rory the Delap, lap's long throws. And I'll never forget Pepperina saying that was the game that he hated the most because he would absolutely zing it in mm. and the threat that Stoke had and the goals that they would score. Liverpool yeah. just mentally... Yeah. Before they even started the game, thought, fuck, we've got to uh, deal with his long throw yeah. first and foremost to win the game. Yeah. So it does become a weapon. So Megan Campbell is known as the Rory Delapa women's football. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I can't wait to see yeah. this. Um, so hopefully she will maybe hopefully I'm not talked up now and she's injured or something. But it is Megan Cornley uh, who have come on. Um, okay. And there's lots happening in your game too, because what's this current score? One all now. One all, Colchester, Stockport, and two one, Bayern v Arsenal. Come on, Bayern. Not Byron B. Come on, Byron. 
By the way, Byron. <laughs> Oofed. Interesting. Uh, by the way, a few people in the comments asking how your injury is doing. Yeah, uh, trying fully the last week or so. Good. Um, yeah, my foot is much better with the rest. Um, I don't think we'll get uh, 100% better until the off season where I have complete rest. Uh, however, yeah, I'm feeling much better. Uh, two and a half weeks to go in the season. So a big two and a half weeks for Sutton. Okay. Um, you know, hopefully Stockport, you know, in the second half can can score another goal and help us, you know, towards safety. Come on, Stockport. I've never loved you more. <laughs> what a team. <laughs> Honestly. Come on, Stockport. Oh, and a mighty port of stock. Um, I had a cracker today on air, Dean, because I read out the fixtures in League One tonight, who everyone was playing. Read a wrong fixture. Somebody texted straight away saying, like, who are Leeds playing? You've said they're playing Melbourne, then you played said they played someone else. And I went, oh, fuck. I literally jumped <laughs> into live score, came off the back of a quick clip, and was like, oops, read the, long, the wrong score. Leeds are playing whatever tonight, and read Saturday's fixture. And what? Read the Saturday's fixtures. <laughs> And then, like, literally bowed off air, like, see you tomorrow. What an idiot. No and then uh, Tom Clayton, our newsreader, came in. He was like, I hate to tell you, just, you just read the weekend's fixture to correct yourself. And I was like, <laughs> We've all been miles there. Miles off it today, <laughs> honestly. And you get a feeling. It's an early start. It's so it's early, Dean, you know. Come on, you know? 2.30 in the morning. We were still Saturday I'll somewhere I'll in the world. I watched the back of my eyelids at 2.30 in the morning. you got to get up. Honestly. <laughs> State of me. State of it. Otherwise, it was a great show. Yeah. <laughs> if you turned on at that point, you thought, why is this bird on the radio? I listen to you every morning on the way to training. It's brilliant. Are you, you up at that time for play? I uh, leave at 7 o'clock, so, yeah. Oh, that's early, isn't it? Saving. Otherwise, the M25, I could be there for, for weeks. Oh, mate, you just get traffic. a helicopter. Chopper yourself I'll out of this and all this field. And just land on the centre circle. I'd do it to <laughs> actually avoid... I'd, I'd do it to avoid the traffic. The traffic. The traffic just kills me. Oh, it's so fast. <laughs> if there's one little bump on the M25, that's it, you're there. Yeah. Hours. Okay. Um, Ireland nil. England 2 at the Aviva Stadium. 53 minutes played. And it's 2 nil England. Looking a bit more comfortable this half. Ireland, it seems a bit more... Yeah, they've started well, started very well. I think they're, um, you know, putting England under a lot more pressure, which is good to see. You know, starting to win their battles and their duels, which is important. Um, and, you know, it's still a long way to go in the game. So, you know, if they if they win their battles and they start to gain momentum, you know, that that's the confidence that they can breed off and then they can go from there. Yeah. Um, What's this? Uh, where's the new manager from, from Ireland? She is, she's been part of the Ireland setup for quite a number of years. Okay. She was actually at the World Cup part of the kind of backroom staff. Um, I remember she was, she was, I want to say interim manager years ago, Dean, because I okay. remember I'd seen her a number of times. And then when Colin came in, Rush went out of the team. But I spoke to her at the World Cup, Eileen, and, and um, I said to Rush, God, I remember this lady so well. Um, and... She was uh, she was quite she was quite lovely. Okay, but, um, so she's been part of the for a while. For a while, and then Emma Byrne, yeah. former Arsenal goalkeeper and captain, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. is the assistant manager. Okay, so that's the new coaching staff for Ireland, um, and it's and it's been it's been good to be fair to them. Um, I mean, the nations girls are enjoying it and stuff. Yeah. I think so. I yeah. think morale's it's a good place. I think they seem pretty happy. Um, Ireland's got good leadership skills and. I think I think everyone seems to be doing okay. I mean, to get a result from this game would be incredible. But also, I think they played so well against France, and then you look at how they set up in that game. Yeah, such a changed look to this game to where it was against France. So I guess they are tinkering with things. You know, we've got a number of aging players, say maybe moving out of the squad in the next year or two, to what they plan doing move forward. That you can only understand why they're starting to yeah. you know change things up a bit. So she's looking to find like what's best suited to the team. Yeah. A style of play and things like that, yeah. I think it's obviously like because like, they got they had such a great result, but ultimately they did lose against uh, France, but even though they had a positive uh, performance, I think, you know, once you get labelled with that defensive yeah. um, mm -hmm. 
you don't want you know teams to be you know like for example Mourinho who's now got that ta- that tag that he parks the bus and stuff like that. Mm. I do think for singular games like one-off games like against France it does work. Yeah. Um, but then you know over time teams work you out and yeah. You know you need to have that, you need to have that attacking flair as well. Yeah. Um, but it's still two 0 so fingers crossed it can't get any worse for Ireland. A wee goal could change things. You know, two 0 is that scoreline, isn't it? It's that scoreline where you yeah. think you're comfortable, and then teams maybe get that little bit more, oh, and then next minute um, there's a change. Uh, speaking of changes, Frank Kirby coming on and Beth Mead coming on. That's Beth being up Jess Park. What a player, by the way. Yeah, she's doing really well. Uh, so Jess Park coming off, and she will be replaced by Fran Kirby. Good to see her back at it. So who's coming off for Ms. Mead? Hemp. Lauren Hemp is off. And in comes Beth. Another good opportunity for Beth, obviously, after coming back from her ACL too, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all right. Um, yeah, so good to see these players recovering and, and starting to play their football and, and doing well again. Mm. I you love know. Beth. Yeah, and she's in front of goal. Such a she's, good, yeah. She called. That girl, Chili. She's very good. Me, though. Me, though. <laughs> Don't tell me she's scored already. So, okay. the Ireland, yeah, they're doing well. They're doing better this half, I think. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I just need to see this long throw. I'm desperate to see this long throw. Oh, Is man. she on the pitch? Megan Campbell's not on a pitch, no. but. Uh, I suppose Cam- that becomes like another set play, like a corner, doesn't it? Like, yeah, well, she's, does, yeah. she. Do you remember? Um, go back to Dean. I was going to say it was the start of this season. It wasn't. It was the start of last season. Chelsea played Liverpool, and they lost the game. Two penalties. That was Megan Campbell's throwing, just and oh, the yeah, ball was yeah, thrown yeah, everything yeah. in a disarray. Yeah. Um, she was Liverpool that, yeah. at the time, yeah. She's at she's at London City now, isn't she? It's Megan, yeah. Um, but I think I think it's great. I think it's um, a, a brilliant little weapon to have in the old armour. Yeah, of course, you know? of course. Okay, fifty-eight minutes played. The Aviva's looking quiet. Come on, man. Come on, live enough. Ooh. <laughs> Get the eyes. Ooh. Get the Icelandic clap going. Do you know what Get I mean? Jay, text Jay, tell him to start it. I know. Jamie. <laughs> Come on, Jay, live it up. Seriously, live it up, mate. He's not even texting me. He's out of order. He's read it as well. No reply. <sighs> He's sitting there schmoozing people. Um, okay. Okay. Someone said Connolly. That's Megan right. Connolly. Yeah, I know. I know Megan Connolly's <laughs> on. I know Megan Connolly's on. Megan Campbell's not on. Megan Campbell has a throw in, and if hopefully at some point she will be on. She played the other night. Can you? Tony's asking for you to sing the Steph Catley song. What the Arsenal one? Go for it. Oh, Steph Catley is wonderful. She's got a left foot like Messi. Ooh. Oh, Steph Catley. Oh, Steph Catley. Steph Catley? <laughs> she will kill you in your sleep. Oh, Steph Catley <laughs> is wonderful. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Steph Catley. I'm going to get a clip around the ears for that, yeah, but that's definitely. all right. She's having you, son. Good to have you. Uh, Bless her. Oh, see, it buffers, Dean. It's buffering. This is what's holding us back. We've okay. been up to date. <laughs> Oh, Steph Catley is wonderful. Is that good, by the way? It's all right, yeah. It's yeah. all right. <laughs> my other favourite one is, oh, and she's on the ball, she's a female. <laughs> Here she comes, Megan Campbell. Oh, Here she comes. <laughs> it's kind of good to cross. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. And the cast. Oh, to be fair, the last of the ladies, they've got some great songs. They do. The they last do. Bank have been chucking it all season. Shame about the performances. <gasps> 2-1 Bayern half-time notification just come in. Whoa, okay, upset because Bayern are off the pace in the league. Sorry, we're watching 100. We're seeing across <laughs> yeah, we've 100 got scores, scores tonight. coming in left, right and centre. We here. need to be across it for the old work vibe. Um, <laughs> Ireland are still currently being beat 2 now by England, but let's hope there'll be a change with big Megan Campbell and our throw-in. Real Madrid City now, that's interesting. So is that half-time, yeah? Nearly half-time. 2-1 Real Madrid. 
with the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. <laughs> right. Okay. Interesting. Um, can we talk about Hannah Hampton Dean from yes, the Go- Goalkeepers course. Union? Um, because she, bear in mind, you go back to the World Cup. Yeah. She didn't get selected. Or she, did. she didn't get selected, yeah. did she? So Heather Payne coming off for Ireland. By the way, she's going to be replaced by Megan Connolly. Megan the Rory, no, yeah, Megan the Rory de Lap of women's Megan football. Campbell. Megan Campbell. Does he call me? <laughs> Just punch me right in the chops. Just punch me. Honestly, <laughs> miles off it. Lucy Quinn off the end. <laughs> what am I even doing here? <laughs> Now I'm confused. Is Megan Connolly or Megan Campbell? Megan Canley, Connolly is on. <laughs> Canley is another player. We'll get to her soon. She's not. She's not. <laughs> and, Megan Megan, Canley... and Megan Canolly. Canolly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started on Campbell. Oh, was that a throw? That was it. It's your turn. What? I know. She threw from Roseanne. I know. It's mental. What the hell? So if she can throw that into the box. That was at least 40 yards. I know, dude. Like, I'm glad you got oh to see it now. Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, my word. That is a joke. I know. The double-jointed freak that she is. It's mental. That is unbelievable. I've never seen that. That's crazy. So, so if they could get, you know, they wouldn't have to be prepared for that, but I think she is one of the most valuable players, especially when they're, like, this stage of the game. Where they need to get goals. If she can get throws into the box, I'm like, oh, you never, you just never know. You know. I just think Ireland needs to so sign the tallest, the tallest woman in Ireland. <laughs> Give her number nine, like Peter Crouch, and just throw the ball in. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know. You know what I mean? Here you go, long throw again. Is oh, it? this is brilliant. This is my favourite. This is your favourite part. <laughs> so is that another throw in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh, look. Like, see if she did throw it into the goal, I take it, it wouldn't count. He's a well, yeah. I, Here's a question for you. If it does go directly in, is it a goal? Or did the ball never go in play? It never went in play, I'd imagine. Yeah, so I don't think it's a Look goal. At that. Oh my god, it's like an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> this is see, this is where the game can change this is because where the it's game corner after corner, throw yeah. after throw in. If she can do this for the next half hour, you it's just getting something on the end of it, that that stroke of luck being in the right place. You know. This is how you can put uh, England under pressure because then England have to focus on their clearances being up the pitch and higher up the pitch and they can start lashing at things then and not get good contact. So it's a massive weapon mm-hmm. to have. Kate with a corner. Good ball. Mm. You'd have to touch it before it went in, so it may as well let it go in. You'd get nothing. See, everybody else knows way more about football than us. We're at this question, then I've got to ask this question. Go on, then ask, ask. Say I'm in goal here, yeah, yeah. and there's a free kick, mm. and my player kicks it directly into my goal from the free kick. Is it a goal or a corner? If you're in goal, if, so and I'm your in goal, player, there's a free kick in my half, right? Yeah, but my player's taking it. He goes to pass it to me, yeah, misses the pass, right. and goes directly into my goal. Is it a goal or a corner? Well, what would you say it would be? Corner. It's not a say, goal. I'm going to say corner then. <laughs> Why Double can't it be a goal? Hopefully. Why can't it be a goal? Because I think it's someone has to touch it. Like it's like a throw-in situation. I saw it on a, on a, on a game show. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's the question. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that's right. Why would it be a corner? Why wouldn't it be a goal? If goal Harrogate, if a free kick... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, if it's kicked, then it's fine. Oh no, Rachel's saying it's a corner. It's a corner, yeah. I'm sure I saw this one. Who wants to be a millionaire? Trust oh, me. Rachel might work for you if I, you never know. It is. It's a corner. FIFA. Yes, I'm right. Thank well, you. Dundee. I knew. Take the rest of the night off. Big pressure there. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm he's sure. on the ball, he's not getting magical. It's Dino, Dino. Come on, England, kick it out. I want to see another throw in. Do you have any uh, chance about you? Any chance? Um, yeah, I did. Stock standard Dino, like that, like yeah. the Mito one. There was another one that I forgot, though. Can't Dino, remember. Dino. Mm. Yeah. 
it's just the st- stock standard in it, Mito, Dino, anything that ends in O, that's, that's the... There's there a... you go. I also saw it in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect. It's amazing the wee things you pick up. So it's a weird rule, that. Yeah. So you score nine goals, it's not a goal because it's a free kick. Yeah. I don't understand why. Mito, knocked down. Uh, what a save. Oh, Courtney. What a save. Did that go over the line? <laughs> Did it? No, it didn't. Okay, could have been 3 0 the Tingling. Save. Great goal from Mr. Brosnahan. It's just Brosnan, but we had the death for effect. <laughs> um, there's another story I was going to tell you there. I forgot what it is. Oh, hold on. Someone's brought a law in. Law 15. Hi, MB. A goal cannot be scored directly from a throw in. If the ball enters the opponent's goal, a goal kick is awarded. If the ball enters the thrower's goal, a corner kick is awarded. Okay. Apparently we're still five minutes behind. Thanks, Kelly. Five Anne. minutes? No, it was a joke. It's a joke. We're oh. not. It's not. We're about five seconds. <laughs> no, not five minutes. 50 minutes. It's all going well. Come on, Ireland. I want Ireland to score. Make the game interesting. Then we get the long throws in. Yeah. I think you love the long throws. I do. I, I couldn't didn't believe that. that. First long throw, I didn't know if it was like... a. I don't know what it was. I just saw it going to the box and then everyone was piling in. I was like, no way, I can't be long throw. The replay happened. It was unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe she's double jointed as well. That's mad. I want to say it's like hyper extend, like hyper extension, yeah. double jointed at the same time. It's mental that. So when she puts her arms back and we stop, hers just go, heel. <laughs> <laughs> like elastic bands, like, whoop. <laughs> so you know those, the, you know those, um, <laughs> Those things, those dancing, uh, what's it called? And they go like this in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah those. Um... <laughs> the same um, things yeah, in the air goes. The yeah, 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 yeah. That is hard. <laughs> it's a good look for you, Dean. Like giant, oh, so giant just... guy. Like that. <laughs> is that your moves in the club? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! What? Oh, no, I hit the back of the net. Oh, right, sorry. Gosh, Tony, don't do that. Oh. Can't handle it. Those things are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my, my sister's son's like that. He just foams about. Yeah. Kids are like that. Okay. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Someone's saying the car wash things. Yeah, it's just like a big balloon that goes yeah. in the end. Just... They, they fall off. Right in that time. That is so down. funny, man. My God. <laughs> I've never seen you so free. Free. <laughs> 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 it's absolutely flapping them out here. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Lol. Oh. <gasps> oh, okay. Jess Carter with a throw in. <laughs> she must be like that. Oh, my throw ins are shite compared to Megan Campbell's. <laughs> Oh, no, I'd just be throwing everything short, not even trying to throw it long. <laughs> Keep it simple, I would guys. like to see Megan Campbell and Rory, Rory DeLapp have a throwing contest. That's a good idea for content, you know. Maybe we could try and I would get love that. to see that. That's a great idea. And then they can try and train us on how to take yeah. throw-ins <laughs> as such. You must, you must... Is he... I wonder if Rory DeLapp's, like, double-jointed in some way or did he just he have incredible... Be. Incredible... Power and strength. And it was a lad from uh, Wrexham called Ben Tozer who mm-hmm. we play against, and he's he's he dry the ball with a towel. Didn't yeah, they, they put a yeah. ban on that. There's a ban on that now. Is there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they put a ban on it that you can't use a towel or anything to dry the ball before you take the throw in. Well, then there's just a the Lucy Bronze where she puts under her the shirt. Top, yeah. yeah, give it a wee baby rub. And, <laughs> yeah. and off we go. Mm. This girl, Caitlin Hayes, she plays for Celtic, and she's a defender. I think she's oh, yeah. their top goal scorer. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a great player. That's Bangs a big star. Yeah. Well, she's a right back. Is that like Tavernier from Rangers? Yeah. He's got about 4,000 goals. In he has, hasn't he? God, he got taken to the cleaners by Dyson Mead at the weekend. Oh, he did, eh? But then he scored. After 25 that. seconds, how unlucky is that? He's gone to clear his come of day. Yeah. No, Maeda's bunion and it's gone in. Yeah. Yeah. We're still on ITV, guys. ITV or RTE is where the game is on. And it's Ireland nil, England 2, 70 minutes played. 
Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. This is Dean Buzanis. If you haven't met Dean, by the way, he's the goalkeeper for Sutton United. The reason he is so involved with women's football is because um, Steph Catley is his better half. Um, and Steph's away just now for the Matildas, the Tillies. The Tillies, The Tillies yeah. are in national duty. They've got Mexico at like two in the morning. Um, so you're doing an all-nighter. Yes, I'm staying up, me and Calvin. Yeah, that'd be nice. So you've got company. Yeah. Does he mind when you go out? Is he like one of those precious dogs? Um, Are they all right? Likes his own space? He was a bit cheeky this morning. I had to get like this baby I lock. Like that. it's like a, I don't know if you've seen it, because he, he can stand up and push the door handle down. Mm -hmm. So he gets into the bedroom. He's been getting to the bedroom, going onto the bed sheets, roughing the bed sheets. Mm. Anyway, so I bought this like baby lock that like where you lift it up and then he can't pull the handle down, mm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's like underneath the handle and locks him in. Yep. But today I forgot to do it. Anyway, so I opened the front door and he's normally like jumping up by the scene, but he's like sitting there looking at me. I'm like, what has he done? Anyway, it oh, wasn't until no. later till I got ready to come here. I've gone into the room. Oh my god! What did he do? He ripped up this <gasps> car, this cardboard box no. that I had my oh. shoes in. Oh, Luckily, he didn't touch my shoes, but there was box everywhere. Anyway, it was about seven hours, not seven, about five hours later. So I couldn't really tell him yeah. off. But oh, that's why I was a bit I was stressing. I was going to be a bit late. I was picking up cardboard box <laughs> pieces all over the gap. You're not like tempted to just bring him into your bed, are you? You're not going to go down that road. Um. No, I, I, yeah, we try and be as cool well as we can. He's, he sleeps in the bedroom but on his bed. Mm -hmm. um, but I just think like if he's out running all day and he's on the grass and you bring one of the beds, a bit, I don't know, I find it a bit minging. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hygienic. Well done. Um, hi, Mary. How are you? She said, Shaban, who do you want to win? I'd like to see Ireland get something from this game. Um, I would really love that. It's a big occasion for them. But also this is England. 2-0 is no mean feat. Um, they've held themselves well since the first two goals uh, and from that penalty they look they look pretty together this half so if they can get a wee moment of magic you never know but it's a, it's a tough group it's a group of death yeah, it's an it's absolute a tough joke group. it's a very high group well, I think the, the good thing for Ireland is that you know they could have easily capitulated here and they could have easily lost their nerve and you know gone three four nil down um, but they've stayed in the game um, you know and the, the second half's been a good performance. Um, I feel like they're starting to win their battles now. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, hopefully they, they can get a goal because if they do get a goal, this game will be very interesting. I'd absolutely love in the next 20 minutes for a Megan Campbell throw in in a moment and then we'll be like, yeah! I'll, be, I'll, I'll lose it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like really oh. Megan Campbell's biggest fan after tonight. You're on Instagram later, like... <laughs> Follow. Campbell, like. Connolly, <laughs> Cannoli, three, <laughs> three best players. My God, I've had a shocker. Like we say, I'm up uh, early and all that, so give us a break. Uh, Scotland are also 1 all up tonight, 1 nil up so far. Who's Scotland playing? Estonia. Oh, yeah. I've got Estonia, maybe. Um, correct me if I'm wrong there. Sorry, my eyes are all on this group. My, my attention on this group is so much stuff to stay across. Not forgetting the Masters starts on Thursday too, Dean. Yeah, one of my best mates is gone, actually. She's flying oh, no. out to Augusta, yeah. That's on my bucket list. Yeah, I'd that would love be to take under. Jamie. Cause he, cause yeah, he, he loves golf. I mean, he, oh, the, Scotland have got Slovakia. I think Wales have Estonia, maybe. Maybe that's where I went wrong. Um, but yeah, fair play to Scotland, that's good. But Augusta just looks like heaven. Do you know it what I mean? It does. Like, everything is so, it's like perfect. Like, mm. Yeah, it would be unbelievable to watch that. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to a four-day weekend. <laughs> Steph's been away for 10 days and she comes home, the golf's on, so I'm sure she'll be happy oh, about that. Oh, that's great timing. <laughs> when is she back then? Thursday, Thursday morning, yeah. Back, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. It must be lonely. Like when someone yeah, goes travelers. She travels so much as well, so there's a lot of times where, you know, we're doing that distance, but... You know, I suppose being in the same profession, you both understand, you know, what you got to do and the sacrifice you got to make, mm -hmm. which helps. Apparently she had it written in her contract to travel every month just to get a break <laughs> from your chat. <laughs> oh. Well, because I'm boring her to tears every day. Just like, oh, see him and his <laughs> throw-in chat. Men Men He's Campbell watching another obsessed. game. I need a break. I need a from break. Kazakhstan. <laughs> Do you do you watch all football? Everything. Oh do shoot, you? shoot, shoot. <gasps> oh. <coughs> oh. Miles off it. 
That's a big chance, Hannah Hampton out of a goal there. I know we're about 45 minutes behind, but <laughs> we've just seen. <laughs> this is Leanne Kiernan now. So Leanne's had been out of the side for, for quite some time when Vera Pau was in charge. Yeah. Also, ACL injury, struggles with injury. She back. She's a great player. I think she's excellent in front of goal. But we just need that little bit more time, build our confidence. Actually, there was a big moment in the France game towards the end of the game where Ireland's... Co- here she comes. Here she comes again. Throwing, guys. Everyone, <laughs> sit down. So it's what are you throw-in. doing? It's a throwing. It's Megan Connolly slash Campbell. <laughs> it's Megan Campbell with the throw-in. Go on, I can feel it. I can feel it. Go on. Let's watch this. Let's Go. watch this. Look at our stretch. Oh, Hampton's done so well. Ooh. They come out and... I mean, it is fun, isn't it? Free kick. Great. Big opportunity for Katie here to hit the target and test <sighs> on, Hampton Katie. in goal. Ooh. Katie, <laughs> Megan. I love when you do that. Come on, come on. Oh, that's the watch. best. I can't watch. <laughs> the nerves. The nerves. A little LJ foul on Leanne Car- Kiernan. It's a lazy foul from LJ there. She had back to play and it wasn't going anywhere. Now it gives Katie a chance to have a shot on goal. Just smash it because a goal here would change it all. Just absolutely welly it. Come on, Katie, welly it. This is St Albans Bells, by the way, ringing in the background. In case you're wondering what the hell that noise is. Yeah, I can hear ding, from my ding, house ding, too. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> my old place. Uh, ooh, yeah, you were literally. Ooh, Katie, is there a goal? How did they not score there? Uh... There's an overload at the back post. Go on, go on, Katie, do it. Oh, 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 oh. my oh. word. That is a massive chance. How have they not scored? Oh. oh, Caitlin Hayes buries that, buries that in the, the SPL. Oh, that's oh. a huge, it's a great ball as well from Katie. Oh. Good cutback. Just overrun it there. Oh, she just couldn't get her feet right, could she? Come on, put it back in. Okay. Okay, not to be... Okay, still a big 15 minutes ahead, guys. Also, there was no injury time at the end of the first half. It was two penalties. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There should have been. Hi to Quinny. Definitely. Quinny says, I'm an England fan, but can't, can't help wanting Ireland to get one. Do you have any Irish in your blood? No, just Greek. No. Greek? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, Bazanas. I didn't know Greek, that Bazanas yeah. my, Greek. Uh, my grandparents can't speak English. They no migra- way. They migrated in the wall, yeah. And I went to Greek school. No way. Yeah, full on Greek. So Dean Stephanopoulos Bazanis? <laughs> Dean Papadopoulos Stephanopoulos <laughs> Bazanis Papadopoulos. <laughs> Dean You'll Papadopoulos never Stephanopoulos Papadopoulos 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 <laughs> So, yeah. You're never getting a chance of this, right? Speak, Greek, speak My Greek as well. God, do you? That's yeah, amazing. I speak well. <laughs> didn't know that. <laughs> so that's why you're, well, obviously the Aussie Greek connection with Ange Postacoglu resonates yes, so much with you. Yes, that's why I love, I love Big Ange. Ange I love they, Big Ange. I love him so much. <laughs> In case anybody's wondering, I still have the throat infection, the cough infection thing, but I got tablets today. So oh, I had that for a month. Dean, I'm, I'm telling you, I thought I, I lost my voice. I'm 10 months on and off. I've I've got the cough more than I'm without it. So it cleared up there for three weeks, back again. So I spoke to doctors today, they sorted me out. No way. Oh, it's relentless. 10 months, that would be so annoying. I don't know if it is the time of morning, though, that I'm up. You're, you're not yeah. like, properly resting, then your body thinks it's gone, and then it comes back again. Just to... And also, I was out at the weekend, went out on Saturday. Yes, you were boogieing in town. I went your head to town. Fair but, play. But everyone who I was with was vaping. So I don't, I don't vape. I don't smoke because I've got asthma, so I couldn't do anything. But I don't know if that affects my yeah, chest could, too. Could do, you know, yeah. so maybe that's that. You're breathing in what is it like secondhand smoke? Yeah, and all their fucking strawberry ridden flavors. <laughs> Come on, Kay. Oh, Ireland's putting England under the pump here. Go on then. Oh, it's unlucky. 
Go on, Caitlin Hayes. A couple of good chances there. Ireland overloading the box. Just need something to fall for them like they did in the first half where it fell for <sighs> Lauren yeah. James. Yeah, they just need a wee moment, don't they? <sighs> My sister doesn't smoke or anything and she has the throat thing for a month. Maybe she's been kissing some wrongians. <laughs> <laughs> Consider that. <laughs> Kevin, your uh, sister doesn't kiss anyone. Okay, she probably. Come on, Ireland. I want Ireland to get a goal. Yeah, come on. This is Dean Pompadopoulos. <laughs> I can't believe your Greek had no yeah. idea. Yeah. But do you think I look Aussie? It's just nah. well. Yeah, well, no, maybe Italian. I would say more, maybe more Italian. Yeah, they, that, yeah. You could have claimed that one. I'd be like, no way. Ireland are really putting their foot down in this half. Yes, TJ with the comments. Mick, Mick is saying vapes aren't good for you. Mick Gales from Jacqueline, I'm not vaping. I was a byproduct of people's vaping. I was just having a crack. I was teaching everyone how to dance. Good time. What time and they were all. You finish oh, up. Right. Have you been at the Peahen recently? Uh, yes. What? On a Saturday busy. night? Yeah. On a Saturday night? Yeah. Then it was you can't like, get a drink. You're waiting there for about four years. I was like everyone's mum. <laughs> I was so young. I was like, I used to come here all the time. Why is it? Like, it's it's like, changed heaps. I agree. It's changed heaps. When 18? I first, yeah. So, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I wasn't loving that. So, I went to the Swan. Yeah. Q was out the door. Shouted by Andrew. This one. Like, Shout Andrew. out to Andrew. At this Andrew, one. I'm too old for this now. <laughs> and then he went, and you go straight in. Big Dublin guy. He's a big Dublin guy. He's, not our he's a good looking he's rooster. He is. What is he like? He's I mean, a good looking rooster. He's so he's so he's so incredibly handsome, isn't he? Um, I wouldn't mess with him. But anyway, I don't know, he's about nine foot tall as well. Mm. His partner Eva. Have you met Eva? No. She's lovely. She works at Centurion. The golf. Oh really? Club. Yeah. She's excellent. Another dub. Greek. Is she Greek she as Greek, well? Yeah. What's her name? Matteo. Matteo Papadopoulos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you're not a Papadopoulos, you ain't Greek. No. Do you know Two what one I mean? Stockport, come on. Oh, come Let's on, you go. Stockport. Love it. <coughs> Excellent result. Um, okay, sorry, if you've just joined us, how are you getting on tonight? Welcome to the watch-along of Ireland against England. It's Ireland nil, England two. Um, Ireland have been holding their own this half. If you're here for updates on Rue, she went off at half-time. Um, after conceding a penalty, I'm going to give her absolute hell for it. Hell for it, I'm going to give her. <laughs> Katie up for a corner now. Kate McKeeve on the corner. Oh. Oh, it's mm. another good chance. Hampton with a good save, good reaction save. Hampton's having a good game, unsurprisingly. Yeah, a she's done game. well. So I wonder what happens now if he uh, keeps her in or not. Mm. So, Dean, I was in the swan, right? Yeah. I'm at the bar. It's also hopping, right? The place is jumping. And this... Shadow appeared next to me at the bar, right? On my right hand side, and I was like, What? And it was Courtney Laws, you know, the England rugby player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> Massive. Hello. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> anyway, I was just, I turned to my friend, and I was like, Jesus, that's Courtney Laws. He's massive. <laughs> anyway, he was wearing Saracen's top, and I was like, Okay. Oh, a chance there, a chance there. Is that Caitlin Hayes? Oh, God, see, this is what she does. Defend her. She attacks the ball bangs very, them in very red. well. Good save from Hannah Hampton. Oh, I feel something for Ireland here, you know, in the next five minutes or so. Um, anyway, then there was three Saracens player all standing there with their, their, their uniform on. Yeah. Like their training tops. And when, I was like... When was this? On Saturday night. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. And was they come out in their in I'm Saracens talking like top? at 1 a.m. in their Saracens tops. That is... Man tough. Mountain. <laughs> In the pub, I was like, you guys hoping to go under the radar tonight? Because, <laughs> like, I can see you. Just about. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they Just are like massive. When they walk giants. around St. Albans, they are huge, aren't they? Because they're not, that, that's the thing that is, like, as wide as they are tall. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they are big boys. Okay. 85 minutes played. Republic of Ireland against England. I think there's a chance there for Katie possibly on goal. Come on, Ireland. Put one in. How is that allowed? Something's happened. What's happened here? Oh! What happened? What happened? Oh, oh Katie's... Katie! Go to... Oh! Did Katie kick it out of her hand? You let to do that? I think so. Oh, yeah. You... Oh, oh, I'm not sure Oh, my you... God! Okay. I don't think Katie can go across her, her line uh, like that. But... Right, okay. <sighs> okay, interesting. Katie should have squared it there, I think. So she just squared it then, yeah, did he scoot it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it was dodgy there, a little I, bit dodgy. I think dodgy. the rule is there that you can't go across the line of the goalkeeper. You can stand there, but you can't actually block. So I don't know why the ref hasn't blown up there, but anyway, it was play on and Katie had a big opportunity. So. Okay. A couple of changes here being made for England. Alessia Russo coming off, Rachel Daly going on. Oh, we know what a threat she can be in front of goal. Um, Lauren James off too. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe Ireland could get something here. Maybe just get something if they keep doing what they're doing. Four they minutes put England under a lot of pressure in, this, in the second half. I think Ireland's, uh, you know, it's been a game of two halves for them. Um, you know, first half, Maybe a little bit off the pace and a bit nervous and stuff like that. But second half, they've really come out and really put England under massive pressure. Bar that one big save. Yeah. I don't think England's had many more chances other than that. Chloe Kelly, by the way, come on for Lauren James. That's mad. You've got to look at that squad depth. Yeah, Kelly. <laughs> Rachel Daly also yeah. coming on for Russo. Another great player. Yeah. They have got a lot of um, depth. In that squad. It's frightening, isn't it? It's frightening. Look at people like Jess Carter. I mean, defensively, you know, I mean, Leah Williamson's been quietish, yeah. you know, tonight too, but defensively, you know that there's an area there without Millie Bright that you could get at England. Yeah, Millie Bright as well to come back. Yeah, there is, yeah. What What's happened to Millie? She's been out for a while now. I want to say that she had her knee cleaned out. Okay. A bit like, you know, Viv had the knee, her knee yeah, cleaned out yeah, or something. Yeah, maybe mini school so something, like yeah. something going on. Her knee's not been quite at it. Um, so it, it seems to have taken her a long time, the best part of the, the season. She's another massive player for yeah, England. Yeah, you know, massive player. A leader as well. Yeah, she's great. She's a great player. Really like her. I interviewed her once, actually. Did have, like, a really long interview with her. She's proper head screwed on. Yeah. Good chat, good person, like, morally... You know, is she's had a fantastic career as well. Yeah. Okay, guys, down for the final couple of minutes before we get in on any injury time. Ireland now, England too. I expected, I expected a bit more of an upset tonight, but I just don't think Ireland have been been touched with the old Irish charm luck. Yeah, well, Papa Doubles. <laughs> I think that chance summed it up where Katie's put the ball in the far post and Lucy uh, squared it and it's just, you know, gone under under the feet of a couple of players there in the box, you know. Just if that falls for them, you know, with 10 minutes to go, mm-hmm. they might be able to get something from the game. But, you know, I think it's, there's positive signs for Ireland, definitely. They have played two of the best teams in the world. So, like you said, in the group of death, it's not easy. No, it's not easy. I mean, Ireland are... England are ranked number two in the world. France are ranked number three in the world. Sweden are ranked number six in the world. And Ireland are, think, in 30-odd. Yeah. So, come on, you know. Did the the, the, uh, groups get drawn out of a hat? The groups were drawn based on... They were seeded, weren't they? They were seeded. It was to do with the Nations League. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Ireland won the group in the Nations League, so they went into this group... Please tell me I'm right about that. Megan Campbell might know better. Megan Conley might know better. But, um, I think that's what happened. And then, so yeah, it was, it was a positive place for them to be. You know, they're, they're in amongst the big dogs. And actually, they were drawn too. They were drawn. Yeah. But I think I think the thing that uh, gives Ireland... 
because they've done so well in the Nations League, uh, even if they do come in the bottom two place, they do get that chance to have the playoff, 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 playoff mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know what that is now. <laughs> I've been through that one. Oh, we've got a playoff. Excellent. So if you win this, you're going to the Euros. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be that simple, would it? Because we've got to win that one. And if we win that one by one goal or two, we go into a, a third part of the off pot. And then if we get through that one, we get demoted into another pot for winning that one. And it's just like... I can't. I know. Four it's it's ridiculous. And four minutes of added time. Come on, Ireland. Go get yourself a wee cheeky goal. Give the Viva something to sing about. Come on. Who's your player of the match, Dino? Um, Megan Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> I love Long that throw. throw in, you know? <laughs> it's like Roro de Lap. No, I don't know what your accent was there. Um, I'm going to give it to... Um, I don't know, really. Uh, <laughs> you watching? <laughs> Give it another six minutes. We'll wake up. To, we'll <laughs> catch up and then we'll know, right? Still on delay. I think Kira Walsh for boss in the midfield, obviously putting that great ball into the back post, which allowed Lucy to knock it down. I think she's been brilliant once again. So, yeah, I'll give it to Kira Walsh. Okay. Fair enough. I actually think I'll give it to Hannah Hampton. Hannah Hampton, yeah, she's also been mm-hmm. brilliant. Clean sheet. Yeah. How many games has Hannah Hampton played for England, I wonder? Uh, would it be a less than 10? Be, I don't think it would be as many as that, yeah. Yeah. Surprising, because she's such a big talent. Because I think originally when she was left out of the last squad, I think Kate McKay got a yellow there. Um... Which about, that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I th- you know, she was told to go. It was quite a public thing, wasn't it? So yeah. they said she needed to go work on herself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When she went, she didn't get yeah. selected. Yeah, yeah. And then now, you know, she goes to be under Emma Hayes and there's somebody in that manager who's not going to have any, yeah, any yeah. snash, any whatever. So I wonder if she's just, you know, totally knuckled down. But she played well. Fair player. Okay, a couple of minutes to go. Let's do or die. Let's do or die. So Ireland will play Sweden next, yeah? Mm. Ireland will have Sweden. Is that? I wonder if that's home or away. That's a big opportunity to get points there, yeah. I think. Yeah, and then, you know, the return leg Dean will probably have to go to is at Carroll Road. Oh, so, yeah, Carroll Road, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I'd rather it be at Wembley. Yeah, well... I th- it's Ireland, England. It's a yeah, huge it's a bit rivalry. random that Carra Road. Yeah, I mean, because I did look up. Yeah. The fix the the plans at Wembley that night. Nothing's happening. Nothing. Yeah, Taylor, so Taylor, Taylor Swift's in town like four days later. Was well, it? Can't otherwise, be, there's nothing. Can't be getting Wembley ready from that early, surely. Yeah. So I would have expected it to be at Wembley. Oh, this is Hannah Hampton's fourth cap. God, just shows you, doesn't it? There'll be plenty more to come, definitely. Yeah, I mean, Mary Earps, I mean, fair play to her, but she'll be fighting for her place now. She will be fighting for her spot in that team. And then we mentioned it earlier on, like, well, it's Kiara Keaton, who's gone yeah. out of this camp injured, etc. But um, Yeah, well, England have got a... Oh, Patsy. Three good, uh, three good um, goalkeepers in their ranks. Oh, Beth, unlucky. Beth means on fire. Your difference is kind of fire. Beth means on fire. There you go. Ask the fans start that song. That's a big song. That's been around for years. I used to play that in the clubs. Did you? Yeah. When that tune comes on, it's absolute banger. Go on, get a good ball in, Katie. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Denise could have got something on the end of that there. Okay, so no goals in this half. For England, with seconds to go. Do you know what? Again, I know it's a, I know it's a defeat, but that's not bad. No, it's not. I think it's a uh, tricky first half. Yeah, tricky first half. But you know, once again, they stay in the game. I think Ireland can be proud of their performers. Um, you know, there's a lot to build on, obviously, but you know, they have come a long way. They have, and you know, the bigger picture is everything. They got, they missed out in Euro qualification. Last time around, 
they got into that playoff spot times 10, whatever yeah, yeah. it was, to make it to the World Cup. They beat Scotland at Hamden. They've had the backing. They've got the investment now. They're all professional. They have the best of the best, pretty much. And to see them qualify for another Euros through, for the Euros for the first time, sorry, through that playoff route would be most likely yeah, for Ireland. Yeah. But also, it's probable that they will get there. And when you're in the group of death, these are the games you do want because you're challenging yourself against the best. That, well, I, th- you I think, know. you know, when they are, obviously they are in the group of death, but, you know, if they're playing top teams like this now, when it does come to the playoff place, they might not draw a team like England or France. So then they can have the confidence in knowing that they have competed against the best of the world, which will help them in the playoff games, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be great to see Ireland at the World Cup. I think they've done so. Ah, uh, World Cup at the Euros. Yeah, I think yeah. they've done so well. Um, you know, and they are building and they are getting better and better. And yeah, that's the most important thing. If they keep progressing and keep getting better, then there's no reason why they can't qualify qualify for major tournaments on a more, you know, more often. It's experience, isn't it? Like it's getting the opportunity to play in these big games, to have the fans behind them to really work on what it is they're doing in training and execute it against the big teams. And and this is only going to be good instead for them for the future. Yeah, of course, 100%. And it's good to see, you know, that they've gone full time and you know, they're, they're now competing with the best on a regular basis. It's it's, it's good to see. And you, when you want these nations to, to be at the top consistently. Yeah, yeah. Lots of pleasantries there. End of the game at the Aviva Stadium. It looked like a good turnout tonight. I didn't see how many actually were in attendance. It looked something about 35,000. Uh, when you look at the group now, the group of death, France are at the top, having won their game against Sweden tonight, 1 0. Uh, on six points behind them will be England now with four points. Then it'll be Sweden. Then it'll be Republic of Ireland at the bottom with nil point. Um, but still four big games to go. It ain't yeah. over yet. It's definitely not over. You know, if they can get a result against Sweden and that puts them on three points, you know, they're up and running. So I think the Sweden game is a massive game. You know, Sweden haven't really, um, you know, set the house on fire. So, you know, there's an opportunity there for Ireland to get their campaign up and going. Okay, interesting. Like we say, big changes for Serena Wiegmann's side tonight. We had... Question marks over if she'd made the right decisions coming into this game. But actually, in the end, it worked out nicely. They were confident. They were calm. They knocked the ball about nicely. They took their chances when they could. A couple, I would say, of unfair decisions against Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> Ireland. We're Arsenal on the brain. Against Ireland. Um, and that first goal from Lauren James, perfectly fine. Second was a was a handball from Roosh. She ended Very up on harsh. the bench. She said, it, it was harsh, but hey, the rules are the rules yeah. kind of thing. Alex Greenwood buries that penalty. And then almost moments later, there was another handball, this time from Louise Quinn for Ireland. Alex Greenwood takes the penalty and it hits the post. So actually, they were a, they were a little bit lucky in that instance. Yeah, and, you know, when it does come off Louise, I think, you know, like we said, it came off her thigh first and then hit her hand, possibly even though we thought it hit her face. Um, and they, and, you know, they got away with that with Alex hitting the post. And then, you know, there was a reaction from Ireland, especially in the second half. I thought they put England under a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, they overloaded the box. You know, they were being difficult and hard to beat. I think they won their battles more often in the, in the second half, uh, which allowed them to, to be in the game and have these opportunities. So it was good to see. It was good to see the reaction was a positive one. Did you enjoy what you saw tonight? What do you think they need to do more or less of? Yeah, of course. I think, you know, um, watching Ireland, I think, you know, there was a contrast from the first half to the second half and I think they need to, you know, start games uh, better. Obviously, they went down early to France um, and if you go down in international fixtures um, early, it gives you an uphill battle. You know, it's, it's tough enough going 1-0 down in any game. However, you know, if you want to compete, you need to start right and you need to be on the front foot nice and early. And I think, um, you know, you could see when they came out in the second half, you know, sometimes in the second half you can start slow also, but, you know, they were on the front foot, they were winning their battles, uh, they were putting the ball in the behind and they are making it difficult for for um, for England. Mm. You know, they're not going to out-possess England, but what they did in the second half is what Ireland can be successful at, which is sometimes the horrible side of the game where you flood the box, you put the ball in the box. So... 
you know, I thought it was a, a, a positive performance and things that they can look at and take the positives from and also, you know, do their uh, video analysis in the first half and see how they can put, put into a whole 90 minutes. I think yeah. if they do that, it will help. Okay. And uh, like we say, taking on some of the best teams in the world in this group, England being one of them, they're now second in the group, will aim for Euro qualification uh, completely to get that done in the next couple of games. Yeah. They will want to be there. Do you think that target on England's back, being current European champions, r- remains or do you have to now view this as a completely different side in a way with changes being made? Yeah, I think there's, uh, there's there is going to be a target from other national teams. They are the European champions. They did do it on home soil. Uh, it was a massive achievement, um, you know. But for the England squad, um, they've just got to take it as a new tournament. They can't think of whether European champions, you know, we're automatically going to qualify or. If we do qualify, once we get to the European Championships, that is just going to happen. They still have to work hard. They still have to prepare, you know, and they still have to you know, go into battles if they've never won the Euros before because now there's a bigger target on them because they are the European champions. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and I think, you know, they do have a, a, a very good squad and they will be up there and they will be fighting for the title again. But, you know, I think it's important that they just focus on themselves and not, you know, external noise. When you look at France, when you look at England, yeah. do you think England are clear favourites or do you think it's going to be a lot of a tougher challenge for them away from home? Yeah, I think it'll be a close game. But I think uh, England's, you know... I think the England are favourites majority of the time going into into games. Mm-hmm. Bar France, I think. Fr- ah, Fr- Bar sorry, Bar Spain. I think they're the best team in the world for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, you know, as an England player, an England fan, that I think they can mm-hmm. be quietly confident. Okay, Dino, it's been an absolute pleasure. Not only have we learned that you're a popadopolis. <laughs> Um but it's been good insight from you. Good insight from League Two, League One, also. Um, and elsewhere if we've watched this game tonight but good to have your company as usual thank you thank you very much for coming along no, thank you for having me it's been a pleasure we appreciate your insight as always and your lols uh, and most importantly thank you very much to you watching at home um this was a nervy one tonight didn't go to plan personally but hey that's what football is about on to the next on to the next that's it. that generic par does my nut in but on to the next <laughs> okay We'll see you the next one. See you guys. Ready a big... (laughs) One, two, three. We'll see you the next watch along. Bye. Bye.